Welcome back. Today we're going to delve into metaphysical spirituality. Being here these last few days in the Sarasota Centre of Light has been quite refreshing because there's a freedom about spirituality where it's not attached to a dogma or rules and it's very much independent. It has its beliefs, it has its understandings, but the congregation come in from all walks of life they choose to come because they're finding that freedom for themselves. It's its 75th year of life. And as an organization, as a church, it has a huge business structure behind it and very successful as well. So it shows in today's world, in today's modern world of mediumship and spirituality, this is a way forward with its ideas, with its freshness, but its unique welcome you're embraced by this building as you walk in. The energy is phenomenal and the presence of the spirit world is exactly that. Knowing the history of where it started and the people that started it and the blood, the sweat and the tears they put in, it is all worthwhile, it's their legacy. And to be ordained as a minister within this church, this center is a real honor as well because I'll be part of that legacy in some way, shape or form. But don't just take my words for it. Here are two people that are dedicated to the service of humanity, of the spirit world, and of this center and the life that it breathes into this community. You'll hear the stories where they came from, why they do the things that they do, and what it means to them. Okay, I'm Laverne Duff. Um, currently, I'm the board president at the center. Um, be, it's because this is such a unique place to be and I feel it's my spiritual home so I and it's just very um, it's just very emotional for me <clears throat> um, this is a very very like I said before a unique church I was raised in a Lutheran Church all the way through and taught Sunday school and everything there and but it never it just did not feel right it was something was missing it just wasn't resonating with me anymore and um, this did this made sense this is I can't even imagine believing anything else now or understanding anything else it's very um, it's very empowering to be here and to know my only regret is that I didn't learn about this you know before I was in my 70s I guess it would have been nice to have been able to enjoy this you know when I was younger but I think I kind of knew about it all the way back then because even in college you know I I was doing a little bit of mediumship but then you know life happens and you get away from it but um it's um this place is just so significant to the whole community and i think um to everybody that's in here now there are people who come here that um you can see in their face that they don't they're like wow this is really different but yet they're very much involved in wanting to learn more and that's what it's about i think i think that would be what we really need to to encourage is people to more people to come see what we're about and maybe you know get on board with it because this is i think this is the answer to everything oh my gosh i would i would love to see more centers like this open up because in 75 years ours will be so full that we're going to need more room so because it is, it's a way of life, and I think people are not settling for what it used to be. Back in the day when you went to church on Sunday or you went to confession or something like that, they're just like, this doesn't make sense to me. I think people are opening up more and more to spirit, and I think with that, they're going to search for a place like this. They're going to be searching for a spiritual home. And my siblings and I, all ended up coming back here for this very reason 
can all come to this church and came from all different places that we lived and moved here because of this. I moved here because of this church. I think there's going to be more and more churches like this are going to be necessary because people are going to be more involved in wanting to have the world a much more peaceful place to be living in. My name is Kathy Curtin. Uh, I first came to the church in 2000. Um, when I arrived here, we were looking at houses and I wondered if there was a metaphysical church in the area. It turned out it was less than two miles from my house, so talk about spirit guiding me here. And when I walked in the door for the first time, the energy in this sanctuary was absolutely amazing. And I was just overwhelmed by it all. And I just knew I was in the right place and I was meant to be doing the work here. So I took the healing class in 2003, uh, became a healer. Uh, I served on the board um, from 2004 till 2015. Uh, served as secretary, vice president and president. Most of my time was taken up with the business side of the organization, which is a huge part of this as an independent organization. We don't answer to anybody. So all the money, everything comes through the donations of the people, like-minded people. Um, I have been in here now for 24 years. Um, when I first came, um, the church was called Shrine of the Master and it was a little bit too Christian for me. Um, I wanted it more to be on the spiritual side, but I understood why it was called metaphysical Christianity because of the location. Um, when we changed it to spirituality, I felt that it drew more people in from all different denominations. And we never ask, you know, where are you from? What religion were you? But it's amazing how people share everything with us and say, well, you know, I'm from a Catholic background, I'm from this background, that background. Um, and I always wanted to understand a little bit more about, do we really just go to heaven or do we really just go to a hole in the ground and that's the end of it? I never felt that. I never felt that there's somebody sitting there waiting at the pearly gates to say, you know, you can come in, but you can't. To me, God is everywhere. It doesn't matter what you call them. He is prime source, whatever. There is the one God, but everybody has their own beliefs. And I could accept the belief that, you know, God is love. And so a loving God would not be sending people to hell. I believe it's a state of mind, evidently. I've seen many people over the years come through the doors seeking guidance. Um, they are in situations where they're grieving and they're looking for something more. They're looking for that connection with their loved ones in spirit. Over the years, that has enhanced so much by the mediums and the international visitors that we bring into the center have just pulled people in. They want to know more and they're like sponges. When we do classes, um, they, they just love the idea of, wow, we're not here alone. We do have spirit guides. All we've got to do is ask. They're around us. And when they come into the sanctuary and they feel the energy, they're sold. And so that's what I've seen over the last 24 years, certainly since we changed it from metaphysical Christianity to metaphysical spirituality. I'd love to see more international teachers and local teachers coming in and, and bring in their expertise. There is a need here for mediums and for healers and the classes, people are just want to learn. As I said, they're sponges. And if you offer them something 
that they think, oh, that sounds interesting. I want to be part of that. We could grow this centre immensely. We just need to, have to pick the people to come. I know that the people that were here on Friday night were just blown away with what came forth. So we want to bring you back. <laughs> My name is Phyllis Lambert, and I am the pastor here, um, and I've been on the board in the past, but right now I'm just a pastor. Well, actually, um, when I was a teenager, like 13, 14, I used to walk home from school because I lived very close by. I grew up very close by, so I would always stop in the garden um, and because I love the garden. and. Um, Particularly when I had a uh, falling out or disagreement with my mom or my dad, this is where I would come to, um, to feel better. I mean, I didn't realize it at the time, but the energy there was affecting me, making the center my priority until after um, my husband Bob passed in 2012. And up to that point, um, we were getting counseling here and everything. Uh, so then, after that, then I, it helped me in so many ways. It gave, I mean, it gave me the time, but it also helped me in every way, emotionally. I had a lot of support here. And so I just started out taking anything that was, any class that was open and available to me, I took. So um, I became an associate minister in 2014. Uh, and I was associate minister for almost six years before I became a reverend. So I took the healing class. I've done just about everything. I've been on every committee and sometimes all at one time, okay, whatever it took. <laughs> so obviously I love the center. Well, the biggest thing for me is when they changed um, Shrine of the Master, which was metaphysical Christianity, uh, to just metaphysical. Um, spirituality. That was the first big, big change. We are getting new people every week. Some come back, you know, and some are just seeking, finding a spiritual home, and we love having them. Either way, um, we like to make them know that they're welcome, and you know, we honor where, whatever background they have. Um, and young families. We've had a few recently where we used to have a lot before uh, because we had Sunday school, um, because we had a lot of kids. Now we don't, but we're hoping we'll reach that point again. Um, but as far as um, people coming, I, I, I see a change as far as spiritual awareness and the consciousness being raised, and especially in young people, they get it. They're not into religion. so. They're finding a home here. The first Saturday of the month, we have what we call Psychic Saturday. And it's an all day event where we do readings, um, 15 minutes for $20. And typically we're busy all day long. Um, and that is a, that's a great fundraiser. Um, in the past, we've had fundraisers when we needed to put on a new roof um, or we needed work in the garden. Uh, so. And we've always, we've always managed to get what we need. Well, I, I would like the message to be who we are. We're a center of light. And with all the new ministers being in different parts of the country and the world, um, there's an opportunity to spread that light and spread the truth. Um, and now with Zoom, we can have that support and people you know, visiting over Zoom to check us out, you know, and attend services. So uh, that's tr helping us a lot. But what I would like to see is, it's, I'd like to see the church, the building, the sanctuary, I'd like to see it stay the same, exactly the way it is, almost 75 years now. Um, but I would like to see more modern, um, some things change a bit to, to, to um, grow with the times. I think with what we offer in metaphysical spirituality, I think we have a, a wonderful opportunity to reach young people. We have, we have something called constant contact, 
and uh, that's a form that's filled out saying you want you're interested in getting our newsletter um, events um, for the people who are physically here when they walk through the door we always hear oh you know I feel welcome the energy is, is so great here I feel comfortable um, the sanctuary is beautiful and for the people on zoom I have I have been told that they are able to feel the energy, which as we know, energy, you can send energy, you know, you don't have to be in person. Um, and also they like getting messages. First, I would say you're not alone. Um, and second, I would say that life continues. It's just the energy has changed um, and that we're here to support you, whether by phone, over Zoom, in person, we're always available. So. Here at the Sarasota Center of Light, there's a sense of spirituality. There's a sense of history as well. And there's a sense of people coming together for something they firmly believe in. When I'm in a place of sanctuary, when I'm in a space where the spirit world are present, it's palpable, we can actually feel it. When we demonstrated on Friday night, there was a power and an energy in the room that allowed us to engage with people. They were welcoming, they understood what they were experiencing. They knew that they were in a room with both seen and unseen, two worlds in that moment. I have to say it was a beautiful experience to be in this room I'm in right now. To become a minister of Sarasota Centre of Light. To become somebody who can take a truth of spirituality and of the spirit world out there I never would have thought that would have become the case, but here I am. Being trusted with that truth, being trusted to take that out and advocate on behalf of a world unseen, to educate a physical world and to share a truth that started over 75 years ago within this centre is an incredible honour and I know it's going to follow me that honour all through the rest of my days on this physical life and probably beyond because my purpose is about getting the truth of spirit out there, getting spiritual truths there, sharing not only that we don't die and cease to exist but that we continue to grow, we continue to learn, we continue to inspire. Mediumship is about inspiring the living, those still walking on this earth, but it's also about acknowledging a growth and a development. And within ourselves, I know that that's part of our purpose here. Wherever we find ourselves, no matter where on this planet we are, I know that the spirit world is looking to share a truth, to share their message. And that I, I, I can't put into words. I feel it. I hope I demonstrate it when I work. I hope I teach it when I do classes. And I hope I share that just by speaking to people that it is profoundly healing. That's what mediumship is about planting the seed within every single person that allows them to find a truth to healing their soul, to understanding others, and to embarking on a spiritual journey that's lifelong and, of course, beyond. <laughs>